Shout out to Bianca, Bianca B. This is Tiffany Cambridge with the little girl who lost her smile. So, so much is going on with you. You just released your first children's book. Explain to our viewers a little bit about it and why did you decide to do this book? Well, The Little Girl Who Lost Her Smile is a story of divorce and separation. Right. And I wrote it to help kids who are going through that situation and that challenge, just to help them know that even though you're faced with that, everything usually in the end works out. Uh -huh. A lot of families these days are dual homes. There's a mommy's house and a daddy's house. And I just wanted to let kids know that they're not alone if that situation happens to them and that everything is going to be okay. And let's talk about co-parenting. Mm -hmm. How are you managing that right now? Oh, we're, doing, we're doing really well. Okay. We're doing really well. Co I was actually one of those kids where I'm like, man, like, oh my God. So this book is well needed. What advice can you give to like teenagers? Because teenagers it affect them a lot as far as like 16 year olds. And you know, you first you're going through puberty of mm -hmm. course and then your parents split up what advice can you give to them well for teenagers I, I would hope that it'd be a little easier for them to understand because adults have conflicts just like when you're an adolescent you have conflicts and so I explained to those kids just like you may fight with one of your friends and you have an argument with one of your friends that's the same way adults do okay. so kind of let adults work out their issues right. it really has nothing to do with the kids of course. Don't blame yourself. Don't think that you're the cause of anything. Mm -hmm. Just let your parents kind of work through what they're going through. Mm -hmm. And as long as you're loved and you're cared about, everything's fine. Right. Mm -hmm. And also, do you do you have a nonprofit organization right now? I support a breast cancer foundation. Okay. And it's the Denise Roberts Breast Cancer Foundation, and we support minority women okay. who are fighting breast cancer. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Did you ever want to, you know, start your own as far as, like, with this book concept for kids that are going through that? Well, actually, I hadn't thought about starting my own uh -huh. foundation. I've been such a support for Denise, who's my aunt, mm -hmm. and with her foundation and supporting breast cancer research. With me, I just wanted to be an author. I just wanted to write and get the story out there to encourage children. Thank you so much.